Hey, what's up everyone? It's Than from Advanced Reef Aquarium. I'm here today to sing the praises of the true union ball valve. Now I get it, it's not a sexy topic like LED lighting or protein skimmers, but believe me, if you've plumbed a lot of aquariums, you'll understand my infatuation with these things. One of the cool things about the reef aquarium hobby is that you tend to pick up some really useful skills by accident. So in my long years of doing this, I learned quite a lot about plumbing. I'll let you in on a little secret about plumbing that's specific to reef aquariums. Ready? Plumbing is not about gluing pipes together and hoping for no leaks. It's about being able to take it all apart later. If you can imagine our reef tanks as little cities, think of plumbing as the roads and subways. They're the first things to be built and then the city grows up around them. One day, you're going to need to get back in there to rework things and it's going to be a massive network of equipment and wires blocking the way. So imagine installing a subway in an old city. That's what it's going to feel like to rework plumbing in a reef tank that's been set up for a very long time. You will find that quick disconnects are worth their weight in gold. Just being able to remove segments of plumbing and give it a vinegar bath is really valuable. That brings us back to the True Union ball valve. A true union is essentially a ball valve flanked by a union on each end in a very, very nice compact package. Unfortunately, not all valves are made the same. The kind we like is made by CPEX. Can you find less expensive valves and unions at a local hardware store? Yes, of course. Should you? No. Take it from someone who spent a small fortune on plumbing parts. Quality parts, especially valves, are amazing to work with. The super cheap parts that you find at a hardware store can be a total nightmare in comparison. Years ago, I made this one inch manifold to return water to a number of smaller tanks. At the time, I didn't use unions, just ball valves. Well, the joke's on me. The ball valves are now stuck open except for one. It's not possible to turn these valves anymore. Also, the one that does turn doesn't actually close internally, so the manifold here doesn't really do anything. In comparison, the CPEX valves turn easily and smoothly. It's hard to get a sense of the difference just by watching a video, but believe me, once you have it in your hand, it feels completely different. The other nice thing about CPEX True Unions is that they come with both sets of unions, slip and threaded. I know plenty of times that I'd have to make a return trip to the store because I got the wrong type of fitting. So what do you guys think? As I start to rework my plumbing, I find myself using them more and more. I especially like to use them on the input and output of external pumps like a walkies to make them easy to remove and clean. Alright, thanks for watching. You can find these CPEX valves on our website www.advancedreefaquarium.com along with other types of plumbing parts that you might not find easily at a hardware store. That's the one thing about the reef keeping hobby that I noticed is that we tend to use some fittings that can be really hard to track down. So we kind of started our own collection. Take a look and if there's anything that, that uh, you have a hard time looking for, let us know and we'll see about adding it to our list. Thanks again and don't forget to subscribe. Take care you guys.